Since the inception of Earth around 4.5 billion years ago, it has consistently rotated without interruption. But recent developments suggest a potential shift in this continuity, revealing a deceleration in Earth's rotation that might eventually lead to a complete halt. The implications of such a scenario on all living beings remain a subject of exploration. How would this affect life on Earth? And what is the estimated time frame before the Earth's rotation stops? Join us today as we delve into a discussion of how the Earth's rotation is slowing down. Earth would have been very different approximately 620 million years ago. Aside from encountering peculiar fronds and worms reminiscent of extraterrestrial beings, one would have observed a variance in the duration of days. In those ancient epochs, a day spanned merely 22 hours, a notable contrast to the present-day 24-hour cycle, owing to the Earth's faster rotation during that period. The deceleration of Earth's rotation, an ongoing process spanning billions of years, is still underway. Current estimates suggest an incremental addition of 1.8 milliseconds to the length of a day per century, highlighting the gradual evolution of our planet's rotational dynamics. Moreover, the length of a day experiences substantial fluctuations annually, influenced by various forces both on and off the Earth that impact its rotation. Despite the fact that scientists have not yet grasped all the factors influencing these changes, advancements in highly sensitive timing instruments and data measurement tools enable the meticulous monitoring of Earth's rotational variations down to the microsecond. This endeavor has revealed a persistent minuscule flux in the Earth's rotation, making each day distinguishable from the preceding one. Earth's rotation encounters influence from both internal and external factors, encompassing the motion of the planet's core and the atmospheric winds. Through a technique termed very long baseline interferometry, scientists can now discern even the tiniest shifts in Earth's rotation. This method employs a network of space telescopes orbiting the planet, attuned to signals from the cosmos. These signals oscillate in and out of the telescope's view with the Earth's rotation. By gauging the time lapse between a signal's disappearance and reappearance, scientists can meticulously ascertain the duration of Earth's rotational activity. Earth encounters resistance from the surrounding air and the surface it traverses, generating friction that gradually decelerates its rotation. In the vast expanse of space, where Earth orbits, the absence of air impedes any substantial resistance to its rotation. Notably, the Moon, our natural satellite, stands out as the most consequential and enduring force affecting Earth's rotation. Over billions of years, the Moon's gentle gravitational pull has consistently tugged at the Earth, diminishing its rotational speed. This lunar influence was particularly pronounced millions of years ago, resulting in shorter days than the present. Looking ahead, the ongoing gravitational interplay suggests that, in the coming million years, Earth's rotation may further extend, elongating the duration of days. The fundamental mechanism involves an energy exchange between Earth and the Moon. The gravitational pull of the Moon induces a slight bulge to emerge near the Moon's position on Earth. When this bulge deviates from the Moon's location, a torque is generated, gradually decelerating Earth's rotation. Simultaneously, as the Moon steadily recedes from Earth at a rate of approximately an inch and a half each year, the rotational energy is transferred to the Moon. This process has been taking place for as long as the Moon has been circling the Earth. According to one academic estimation, around 1.4 billion years ago, a day spanned a mere 18.7 hours, with the Moon positioned approximately 27,000 miles closer to Earth than its current orbit. The undulating bulges on Earth's surface mimic a rotating wave, exerting resistance against Earth's rotation and contributing to the slowdown. Consequently, the length of a day on Earth expands by one second every 50,000 years as a result of this intricate interplay between gravitational forces and rotational dynamics. The cessation of Earth's rotation would likely require a cataclysmic event, such as a collision with another planet. Even in such an extreme scenario, it is more plausible that the impact would alter Earth's rotation rather than completely halt it. 
On shorter time scales, numerous factors influence the speed of Earth's rotation, with the movement of the molten core being among the most crucial. The extent to which turbulence within the liquid interior affects the overall rotation remains uncertain. Observing the Earth's core is challenging, and researchers are still grappling with understanding its impact on the planet's orbit. Additionally, surface-level elements like wind and wave motions also play a significant role in determining the Earth's rotational speed. The wind and tidal forces that traverse the planet's surface exert influences on its rotation, contributing to the complex dynamics of Earth's rotational behavior. Friction between air currents and the Earth's surface, along with interactions with features like mountains, contributes to slight variations in the planet's rotation speed. Notably, during El Niño years, changes in wind patterns lead to a marginal slowdown in the Earth's rotation. Researchers from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have highlighted seismic activity as another factor influencing the Earth's rotational speed. A notable event occurred after the 2004 earthquake in Indonesia and the Indian Ocean region. Following this seismic event, the Earth's rotation accelerated by approximately 3 microseconds. This acceleration resulted from a minuscule shift in the distribution of the Earth's mass caused by the movement of continental plates. Newton's rule of conservation of energy plays a pivotal role in the continual fluctuation of Earth's rotation rate. According to this rule, as glaciers melt and sea levels rise, a greater amount of mass shifts from regions near the poles to closer to the equator. This redistribution of mass effectively decelerates the Earth's rotation, leading to a gradual lengthening of our days. Additionally, Earth's rotation speed experiences seasonal variations, accelerating during the Northern Hemisphere's summer and decelerating in the winter. This seasonal oscillation is influenced by Earth's orbit, bringing it closer to the Sun during winter and slightly farther away during summer. As a consequence of momentum conservation, when Earth moves nearer to the Sun, its rotation slows down to compensate for the heightened speed in the planet's overall motion. The interplay between these factors exemplifies the dynamic and intricate nature of Earth's rotational dynamics. If Earth's rotation were to drastically slow down, the consequences would be substantial. Contrary to popular belief, you wouldn't be flung into space instantaneously. Gravity would keep you firmly grounded. However, numerous adjustments would occur. A day, instead of the familiar 24 hours, would last half a year, with an extended period of daylight and darkness, as Earth continues its orbit around the Sun. The cessation of rotation would lead to drastic temperature variations, causing significantly warmer days and colder nights. This shift would have a profound impact on the planet's climate. The temperature difference between day and night would generate strong winds, pulling warm air towards Earth's cooler night side. The wind patterns would become distinct, flowing from equatorial regions to the Arctic. This contrasts with the rotating Earth, where the winds are redirected due to the planet's spin, creating the well-known east-west and polar winds. In the absence of Earth's rotation, these winds might converge unchecked, giving rise to colossal wind patterns, potentially reaching the size of entire continents. A significant portion of the Earth's core comprises molten iron, which through the Earth's rotation, becomes magnetized, giving rise to a magnetic field enveloping the planet. This magnetic shield acts as a protective barrier against harmful radiation emanating from solar particles and cosmic rays beyond our solar system. The magnetic field effectively blocks these radiations from reaching the Earth's surface, but when they manage to penetrate, they interact with the atmosphere, resulting in the mesmerizing auroras, commonly known as the northern or southern lights. The absence of this protective magnetic field could pose a threat to humanity, as direct exposure to such radiation could have adverse effects. Additionally, certain bird species rely on the Earth's magnetic field for navigation. If the Earth were to stop spinning, birds could become disoriented, affecting their ability to navigate accurately. Moreover, if the Earth ceased its rotation, a static orientation would prevail, leading to the same set of stars being perpetually visible in the night sky. 
This stands in stark contrast to the dynamic changes observed over the course of a year, where constellations shift and stars rise and set during the night. The cessation of Earth's rotation would eliminate this celestial dynamism, providing a fundamentally different experience of the night sky. Indeed, while it's fascinating to explore the dynamics of Earth's rotation and the potential implications of changes in its speed, the variations are relatively minimal and fall within the range of past fluctuations. In the grand scheme of things, shifts in the rotation of our planet are not high priority concerns. The day-to-day -day changes may be subtle, and the length of days may never be precisely the same, but on a practical level, these variations have minimal impact on our daily lives. So, while the Earth's rotation continues to exhibit its dynamic nature, there's no need to overly worry about the passing of days, as the fundamental stability of our planet persists. What are your thoughts on Earth's rotation slowing down? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.